What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Joeezy. Welcome to another edition of Joeezy Delivers. I'm a long time Welcome back, my new viewers. Welcome to the channel. Okay, today is Friday, baby. It's Friday, baby. It's Saturday, Sunday, yeah. It's Friday, then. It's Saturday, Sunday, what? Okay, okay, Friday, September 6th. And we're gonna bring back DoorDash, all right? We're gonna bring it back. We're gonna make 200 with DoorDash earned by time. I tried, the, I'm, I'm on and off with DoorDash because the strategy that does work with DoorDash earned by time, not earned by offer, earned by time, I get mad a lot of times because I do like $3 orders sometimes, not all the time, sometimes three, $4 orders and then it gets me mad, man. So, but you know what? It's the strategy that usually works at least during the week. So we're just gonna do it guys. DoorDash earned by time, but we're gonna open up all the other apps. Uber Eats, Uber Rideshare, Lyft, Instacart, everything else, guys. And that is gonna allow us to make $200 on a Friday. Now, with that being said, let's get those started. Now, let's waste any more time on this intro. All right, let's go, baby. Don't forget to smash that like button below. But if you like this video, then you wanna watch Fishing for me doing delivery. Just a couple my people. Let's get those started. Let's go. Oh, I was gonna tell you in the intro, but I forgot. We are at currently at a 17% acceptance rating on DoorDash, so 17%. So this whole reset acceptance rate that they told us, they lied to us, or at least in my market, they lied to us. So they they had it, and then they said, man, I don't like they. I don't know, Tony Shu probably said, no, 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 let's revert back. Well, I don't, I don't like the strategy. We're not making money, or I don't know, something like that. But we're at 17% acceptance rate. All right, guys, the time is 11.56 p.m. And we accepted our first order of the day. Well, we declined our first order of the day. It was already a DoorDash. And that always happens. Every time I clock in on by time, they always send me the worst order that nobody has done. So this was a nine-mile order for two places. And the second place was going to downtown. And I'm like, no, nah, I don't want to go to downtown, man. So I declined it, and I paused, and I got this order. So I'll tell you now. Hola, como está? un Uber Eats para... That's yeah. All right, we got the order. So it's a five dollars and ninety-two cent order Uber Eats for one point three miles, I think. Yeah, one point three miles. The time is twelve seventeen p.m. and we accepted our our first DoorDash order, seven point nine miles DoorDash. I parked at a gas station, so I have to because look, the one time I well, it was packed. Usually it's not packed. But, oh, I could have parked maybe here. I didn't know there was a parking here, so now I know. But well, this is Playa Bo, 7.9 miles door dash. Let's go. Thank you. Have a good one. Oh, we got the other map, people. Let's go. Deliver. Let's do it. Oh my goodness. They can't tell me quick, right? Let me see. No, they didn't tell me. All right, good. All right, so this type of order, I don't really get mad about too much. I mean, I don't get mad about it because it's $10 and it's 7.8 miles. So it's at least $1 per mile. But the ones that I don't like are the two, three, two, three, four dollar orders. But especially the two dollar orders where I'll get an order from McDonald's for one mile and I know that's a note for sure. And then boom, because I do it so quick. Those and also there have been orders where it's like nine miles and I get paid like eight dollars. And it's like, oh man, I drew, I just finished driving nine miles for eight bucks, you know, like those types. But if it's like five dollars, four miles, you know, one dollar per mile, I don't really mind. All right, guys, the time is 107 p.m. and we accepted another DoorDash order. Oh, how much was it? It was 2.8 miles. So DoorDash to 2.8 miles. And look, this is what I'm doing. And where this is what I did now and what I'm planning to do for the day is once I do a DoorDash, it's taking me out of the zone. It always takes me out of the zone. And then after I complete the DoorDash order, go to my nearest shopping center and then just hang out there for more DoorDash or for more like that will take me back to the zone or for more Uber Eats or Uber Rideshare or Lyft so I, so I don't have to drive so many dead miles you know so let's do it Hola, el mío para pie, DoorDash. Yes. Yes. Let's go. Appreciate it. Thank you. Time is 1:24 p.m. and we accepted another DoorDash order 6.1 miles and is the name of the place is called BurgerFi all right let's get it Hello, how you doing? It's a DoorDash for appreciate it. I confirm too. Yeah. Have a good day. Alright, 
talking about people we got the order. That was pretty quick. Let's go deliver. Remember, I, I have not been, I have not had to wait on any of the orders because DoorDash knows when to send drivers. They just choose to send drivers early. And I know I always talk about this, but I just want to reiterate, especially, you know, I, I, a lot of times I get new viewers too. So, you know, I just like to repeat it. Let people know that, yeah, DoorDash knows when to send drivers. It's just that they send you early on purpose. Okay. The time is 2.42 p.m. and we accepted and completed two rides, guys. Oh, no. Man, I'm in the... Well, I accepted this order, but look, this is $2 uh, two rides that I did, two lift rides. First one was $6.19. 5.84 miles, 15 minutes to complete. And then a $6.18 order, 4.7 miles, 20 minutes to complete. And now we are here doing an Uber Eats shop and pay for CVS. CVS, $6.50, 2.2 mile drive, one item, that's it. All right, we got the Diet Coke right here. No, that's Diet Pepsi. No, they don't have it. They don't have Diet Coke. All right, guys, so um i text the customer a few pictures if they would like the individual six pack or the individual diet cokes or if they would like the 12 pack or or the cans and the customer hasn't responded yet so what i did was i just i just put refund and then look i, I put refund and then i can't doesn't let me contact support so the app is broken look at this it says no items found in this order. Please contact support if you can't find any items. I'll go back and look again. And I can't look again. Contact, you see? So, like, it's like making me... I have to cancel it now, for sure. And the customer still hasn't responded, so I'm just gonna cancel. Alright, guys. First, we accepted an order, right? We accepted a DoorDash order. The time is 3.18 p.m. We accepted a two and a half mile DoorDash. Picadillo is the name of the place. But let me tell you a ride that I did. So I did a $7.25 ride, 4.26 miles, 16 minutes to complete. And it was a $4 uh, bonus hour. So I got an extra four bucks. So seven, eight, nine, ten, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven dollars in total. Hola. Eh, un DoorDash para. Thank you. Alright, we got the order. It was nice and ready. Let's go with the Vegas. I think that guy right there in front of me is uh, only doing Uber. That's why he didn't... I think. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he's doing DoorDash. Who knows? Yeah, it says to leave it here, but... Alright, guys. We just did a ride. Let me tell you right now. Oh, we got a... So, it was a $2 bonus hour. Okay. It was $10.13. 5.94 miles. 29 minutes to complete. And then we got the, the $2, as you heard there. The $2 bonus hour. And... Just like that, we're at seventy-one dollars. Oh man, I'm telling you, DoorDash, man, DoorDash. This is what I gotta do now. Well, just keep doing that, I guess. But yeah, DoorDash is uh, is is what's it, it's always the best strategy that I do. I make the most money quick because I do a DoorDash, and even though it's you know no tip or whatever. It has to be a long distance order with traffic. I, and I tell, I've, tell, I've told you guys this so many times. So I sound like a, like a broken record. It needs to be a lot of traffic during the week. And that's it. During the weekend, this thing is very, very painful, man. That's, when, that's why I stopped doing uh, DoorDash. Because I'll do it like on a weekend, like on a Saturday. And then I'll get like a nine mile order for $8. And it's like, oh because there's no traffic, so I do everything too quick. But I have to, I don't know, man. Because I still need to make money on Saturday. Saturday is, is hard, man, to make money on Saturday. What I could do is go to the beach, go do right here at the beach. There's no traffic. I could do that, and then during the week, just do this DoorDash strategy during the week, Monday through Friday. Damn, let's do that, let's do that. But I do want to give you guys a Walmart Spark video. I want to do Walmart Spark the whole day, see? Just to give it another chance, go to a different Walmart, not the one that I went the first time. Go to a different one and see what happens. I don't know. But it would have to be like during a slow, low, maybe like on a Monday. How about that? Monday's supposed to be busy, right? Because it's busy for groceries, you would think. Okay, guys, we accepted a no breeze, but we did two rides, lift rides. And you know what? There was people telling me that I could rent a car and, and put lift. I don't know, I went to add a vehicle and then I just put, uh, it just said, it's asking for the year, the make, model. I don't know, man, I don't know, that's, uh, you already know, man. That's playing with fire. Some people don't care, they'll just do it. But you know how I am, I'm like, always like, 
trying to do everything by the book. Okay, so we accepted a ride. $8.30 ride, 4.28 miles, 22 minutes to complete. Oh, and I don't have, there's no Lyft Express here in Miami, Florida. I already checked. So you can't rent a car in Miami with Lyft. I don't know why. You could do it with Uber, but not with Lyft. That's weird. Oh, nice. The Lyft app uh, seems like it crashed. So I can't tell you what the Lyft ride is, the second one. Let's just go over there and do the Uber Eats. I'll tell you what it is. Okay, so the Lyft app works now. So I did a $5.06 ride, 2.32 miles, 13 minutes to complete. And now we are doing an Uber Eats order. $7 and change for like, it was like two miles, 2.1 miles, guys. Uber Eats. The name of the place is called Taco Rico, but I think on the app it's something different. But it's another taco place, man. I want tacos. Here's the sign. Hello. Hi. It's a uh, Uber Eats pickup. Okay. Thank you. Have a good day. All right, we got the we got the food, guys. Let's go deliver. It's a sign, guys. It's a sign that I need to go ahead and just buy my tacos or my burrito. I want a smothered burrito. No, I have a good one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, invited to the this video. Thank you for watching. All right, this is how much we made for the day. On DoorDash, we made $71.16, if you could believe it. On Lyft, we made $68.37. So Lyft hooked it up today. And on Uber, we made 20 bucks and two, and two cents for a total of $159.55, so it was not 200 guys. And these are the orders that we did off camera. Look, we did a $7.49 order for ride, for lift. 4.64 miles, 29 minutes to complete because look, it was supposed to take 21 minutes. It took 29 minutes because of the traffic, obviously. So they didn't pay me the extra, you know. I, for Lyft and Uber, you have to be super late for you to get some extra money. If it's like 10 minutes late, because the traffic, they don't really care. They won't pay you more, but it's, it's, it is what it is with that one. This one kind of messed up my, my flow. It was, ended up being a $11 order for 10.34 miles, 44 minutes to complete. But look at the, the estimated. It was supposed to be a 4.6 mile or a ride, 18 minutes to complete, $7.15. Look, 1.55 per mile was the order. I got to the person's place. And then they said they were talking to some other people, and then they're like, "Yeah, no, I guess we'll just go, we'll just go over there in, in this lift, you know." And you know they're there talking, and then like if I don't exist, like they're saying that that no, no, we'll just go over there because we'll, they were just supposed to go to a, a, a specific place, right? They went to the place, and then they had miscommunication with the person's house. My passengers had miscommunication with the other party because they were supposed to go to a restaurant together. But they were supposed to meet up at this other person's house. So I took them to this person's house and then they realized, no, they had to go straight to the to the restaurant. And they're like, nah, don't worry about it. We'll just we'll just go we'll just go over there to, you know, straight over there. And all this while I'm like, bro, did you even ask me if I if I could take you guys over there? Like it was supposed to be I don't know, man. It was just look, I, I didn't really care because I have done these orders before and then Lyft does pay pretty decently for the extra mileage. So I was like, I didn't really care, you know? But when I finished the ride, I got an extra, what, four bucks? Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. An extra $4 for an extra, for twice the for twice the mileage, guys. So those will be 4.6 miles, ended up being 10.3 miles. So twice the mileage and then they, I only got four more bucks. So I guess, I guess it makes sense, man. Uh, well, does it make sense? I'm not sure. I just, I just didn't like it. I thought I was going to get more money than that, than four bucks for an extra five miles. But, oh, I also forgot to mention that the passengers did not even leave a tip, guys. Normally, I don't expect tips from rides because no one ever tips maybe a few times every hundred rides. Every hundred rides, I'll get a tip or two. So I didn't expect a tip, but I was like, bro, I'm taking these guys an extra five, five and a half miles or whatever. And then I'm thinking, oh, I'm 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 gonna get a tip for sure because they're probably gonna think, man, this guy, you know, he didn't complain, you know, he just took us wherever, you know. And then I helped him out to change the location of the drop off. You know what? He, you know, he did some good service. Nothing, guys. Nothing. It kind of messed me up. So then this thing was all the way in downtown, and I don't like going to downtown during the week, especially at this time. What time was it? It was like. It was like 6 p.m. It was prime time. Everybody's leaving work. So to go like a quarter mile in downtown after work at that time, it takes you, especially if there's like a little block 
that it's always like, it's always, if you get stuck in that little block, to go 0.25 miles, it'll take you like an hour, an hour, you're gonna sit there. So you might as well get out of the car, uh, get a chair there and just wait because you're gonna be stuck there. And I didn't wanna go there, but it was a little bit more up north from downtown. So it was even further than downtown. And I did the order and the, the problem is also coming back with any rides. I didn't come back, I, I, I started driving back with no rides. I didn't get any rides or any or any DoorDash or Uber Eats or nothing. So that kind of messed me up, guys. But it is what it is. I vented with you guys. I, I don't think I vented. I don't think I complained once in this video. That's good. Good job, Juizy. So you know what? That was my one and only complaint of the video. And for Uber Eats, we did one Uber Eats order off camera. Look, it was a $5.84 Uber Eats order. 2.8 miles, 17 minutes to complete. And then for DoorDash, we did a 3.5 mile Shake Shack order. Did that ended up getting paid sixteen dollars, nine dollars and fifty cent tip. I was like, what? I was, I was like, hold on, hold on, is my eyes are my eyes deceiving me or what? Because there's a lot of drivers there, but there are a lot of Uber Eats drivers. I don't think I think there's been less and less DoorDash drivers with like multiple accounts. I think everyone's just the ones that are left that have like twenty accounts. They're they're doing Uber mostly. From what I see, guys. From what I see, I don't know. And then I did a Taco Rico order, right? I did that, did it? Yeah, 2.2 mi two miles. I did that, ended up getting paid $2.50 tip. Another one, I'm like, bro, I was getting shocked. $2.50, so $6.42 order, $3.92 base pay, and then I did this order. I did decline a an ice cream order for like one and a half miles, and then I was like, hold on, hold on, hold on. I started looking at it, I'm like, this this order smells like like no tip for one and a half miles. I said, nah, I'm not gonna do it. So I declined it. Uh, if, even if I did it with no tip, it would have been like like three bucks. It would one of those. It would have been one of those orders that I'm like ah getting mad about. So I was like nah, let me not do it. And then I did this order. I was like five point three miles. You know what? I'll do it because it's five miles. I'll probably get paid like five bucks minimum. I did that and I'm getting three dollar fifty cent tip. I was like what? I was like man. So it was worth declining the last one. $3.50 50 cent tip. And then I did this order, taking me back to the zone, Little Caesars order, 6.8 miles. I was like, ah, it's probably no tip, but it was gonna take me back to the zone and it's not that bad, 6.8 miles. Did that as expected, no tip, $10.64 base pay. And then I clocked out after that. Uh, I got five rapid acceleration, zero hard braking. And I ended up with a 25% acceptance rating. And that is pretty much it, guys. You made it to the end of this journey, though, my lovely human. Thank you for watching. All right, let's go, baby. Don't forget to smash that like button, blow up in the YouTube world. And if you like the video and you want to watch future videos of me doing delivery, you should subscribe to my people. My people, have a good day. Have a good year. Have a good career. Stay healthy out there. Love yourself. Believe in yourself. It's your boy, Joe Easy. Let's go.